Hello everyone, I hope you guys all had a good Wednesday today. Hi, we're back with Weather Relations. Um, and uh, yes, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. Please subscribe, uh, or go ahead and subscribe, say that. Because uh, a lot of my, like 60% of my viewers do not watch or not are not subscribed, which uh, I would pl if, please, if you're in that 60%, please subscribe. I hope you consider that uh, it's free. Uh, and Yes, so, and we're going to be looking at Winterstorm Cade today. It's his name again. Uh, a lot of name Winterstorms right now, but that's, it's January, so there should be. Um, but, uh, yes, so, I'm going to get started. We're going to be looking at the uh, the satellite first and see how big the storm is. Uh, gosh, I already loaded this. Now it's just not working. It's going to take its time, of course. But, uh, so, if we go back to when it was blighter, oh, my God. If we go back to when it was lighter, uh, this is only about an hour ago. Uh, this is not too out of date. We can still see the whole storm. We can see we have a clear area here in western Kansas. We have the big, you can definitely see the cold front. Probably say low pressure is probably centered right there because we have to wrap around some back here. Um, we got the some snow and the rain out in this area. Um, we see it's been swimming uh, to the east, maybe east northeast a little bit. Uh, gosh, why every time I click on this, why does I have to load again? I already did this. So it's going to take another minute, of course, because my computer's a poop or a turd, I guess. Uh, it's like, it likes to take forever to load things, but, um, and I already loaded this. When I loaded it before, it didn't even take this long. Why did it reset? <laughs> this computer is so, I don't even know this my computer if it's just the wonder map. It, just, it reset. <laughs> And now it's gonna take forever. Oh my gosh. Just load in the rain. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, y'all. Here we go, finally. Okay, so currently right now we have a bunch of no we have no severe weather, not even really heavy rain with this, so flooding's not a concern. But we do see we have sort of see the cold front here. We got uh, showers and a pretty good steady shield of rain right there. Even in northern Arkansas, we see some sleet and some snow showers. Most of Missouri, we see some snow showers all the way over to St. Louis, Iowa. A lot of snow showers up through Des Moines and into Wisconsin to the southeast of St. Paul, Minneapolis. Uh, we see that. We see a band of snow right here. It's pretty strong. We see one about to go into central Illinois. So let's go ahead and move over to, oh my gosh, are you serious? Why <laughs> is everything taking forever today in this video? I'm sorry, this is stupid. Oh my, are you serious? It's not going to change. God, this is such a piece of crap here. Alright, so, uh, alright, so uh, what we're going to be looking at is we see this is pretty much the winter storm. I'm trying to, uh, okay, so trying to fix something with the computer here. Uh, okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and get, so this is what we're seeing pretty much just tomorrow morning. We're going to be seeing, we have, we have a, a weak area of low pressure forming right around Omaha, right here. Um, we don't really see an organized winter storm, nothing too severe, not even, I wouldn't even say this would be named, because this doesn't really look too bad at all, but, um, because yeah, it is, this is, we see some snow, a snow band back into Nebraska, and South Dakota, we see one up in Wisconsin, through Illinois, maybe some sleet, even maybe spotty some snow in northern Mississippi right there, see that? there's a little dot right there, yellow, or blue, I don't know if you guys can see that, but, um, Wednesday, or Thursday afternoon, we see weak area, low pressure, uh, just, um, strengthens a little bit. It looks just fizzled, not really strong, but it does look okay. Um, it has it has some stuff stronger storms have, but it's just not not strong. Um, but we do see that cold front right here, probably a warm front like that. Uh, it may look sort of like this, maybe maybe like that. We have the warm air going up, um, like that. We even see some sleet and. Alabama right there in the Georgia, but we do see that snow to the north of it uh, Thursday afternoon we see even some we see the snow or the rain moving further north But we still see some snow then we just see it rain for the east until about Saturday morning We start 
We could see some bad snow on the back side of this too, maybe in portions of Ohio. It's going to be not a strong storm system. Until it hits the northeast, it could strengthen. And it has the potential across the northeast to bring some pretty good snowfall into the interior areas until maybe the coastal areas of Maine might get some, but probably not, though. It's going to be a pretty light. And we could see that could bring a, a, good, a decent snowfall, a decent few inches to, to the northeast. Um, we see there a little coastal southeast storm. We see... We'll probably have another one up towards mid mid next week about a week out we see this this is going to be sort of similar it's not going to be all that strong We're not going to have much snow potential but then another one's going to swipe out of the gulf coast look at this be, this could be a nor'easter because right on the northeast that's going to be very strong if this does happen towards the february or february 1st right there deep cold behind it if i think had enough back wrap around and pick it get some snow in georgia I do indicate that some in uh, mississippi right there but uh, yeah. Uh, so this is gonna bring this could bring some pretty heavy snow, but we'll have to see on that because it is about a week and a half out. But somewhere around there, we could have a strong system. And then it's showing one of these little sliders. We have one of those in November, which brought like that November all Arctic blast, and then we had one of those in December. Pretty similar. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna be looking at that. Pretty much two big systems. One, two. And then that. So actually three is we have this one. Only about three systems going on. Let's take a look at the and see if there's going to be any um any deep Arctic like really cold blast ahead. So let's go ahead and switch back to uh, what's going on right now. So right now I do see pretty cold air for the southeast. It's 21 for me this morning, which already was colder than last year's. And I think I was going to be the coldest morning of the year this morning. This I don't think this year is going to be cold. I, mean, I I do see some indication in past years because. It happened in 2017. This reminds me of the winter of 2016 and 2017 when it made it down to 21 again. Um, but also, we've had some severe weather. It was warm in the fall, like extremely warm drought for the southeast and stuff. It's, it's, it's really similar. So I think this could be a bad severe weather season just because of that, because it's reminding me of that in 2017 was a bad one. But I feel, feel like 2017 where the southeast, I was a cold, cold summer, not cold, but it was a cool summer. It was in the 50s sometimes, in, in, well, it was in the 50s sometimes this year. It was almost in the 40s sometimes, sometime in June. Uh, in May, it was in the 30s. But, um, yeah, uh, so I'm going to be looking at that, I think. So I, I'm not, like, I'm not, I don't want to get your hopes up uh, or anything. But, I mean, that I think that, that's, like, the best indication of, I think, what may happen. Uh, I don't really care. I don't want to update you right now. Uh, but, yeah. That maybe that could mean a cold winter next winter, which we'll have to see on. Cause that's still far out. Hopefully, my YouTube channel will be at like a thousand subscribers by then. But uh, yeah, my goal is 500 by the end of this year. So yeah, but we see no, not really any Arctic blast until it gets after that southern uh, little slider system right here. It's gonna be a pretty bad one back here. Let's see some of the temperatures down in southern Texas. That area. This is afternoon temps. Let's go to morning. We don't really have morning, but uh, you yeah, see, it's going to be uh, bring, could bring some negative fifteen. This is not yet. Yeah, we don't even see really like we're not even seeing like negative forties or anything in the U.S. So, but so I mean, we are going to see had to see here. It's just some cold air this earlier. So that's about it. But uh, let's take a look at snowfall for the Northeast if winter storm Cade. Where would that be? Oh, right here. <sighs> I do not think it's going to be a major winter storm. This is pretty much what we're looking at now. We could see like one to four inches across portions of the Midwest if you have snow in your forecast. But, um, oh, why do they zoom in on the southeast? Crap. Oh, you see, we could see some snow in portions of like portions of Alabama. But we'll have to see. Let's go to the northeast U.S. here. And we are going to see. Yes, yeah, so portions of Maine get up to maybe six, seven inches. Vermont, maybe up to higher elevations, 10. Or it's New Hampshire, sorry. But Vermont, maybe about five. New York, maybe lower lower areas, none. Towards New York City, none. Boston, probably none. Um, and down through Pennsylvania, two to four, maybe six. And any Appalachian, or any Appalachians in West Virginia, we could see some all the way down to uh, uh, um, Carolina, and even Tennessee, and maybe northern Georgia. But yes, that'll wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your Wednesday, and I'll be posting tomorrow. I have to. Um, but yes, peace out.